guys, it's Wednesday, and guess what it's doing outside? Let's take a look. Let's guess what it's doing outside. More snow. We're supposed to get like five inches by the end of the day, and then another like five to eight inches overnight. So before it gets dark, I'm gonna have to go out there and snow blow again so it's not like crazy in the morning. We're supposed to get a total of 12 to 18 inches over the course of the next 24 hours. Now you know why we had to go and clean off the roof at the other house. This roof here isn't that bad since we're like kind of at the top of a hill. When the wind blows, most of the, most of the snow blows off the roof. So luckily I haven't had to shimmy my way up there. But after we get through today, after we get through today, it sounds like we're going to be thawing out a bit. At least for a couple days. Yeah, at least through Monday. <laughs> Which is a relief because Ben and I, as we've been teasing, and if you saw the end of yesterday's vlog, you may know where Ben and I are sneaking off to on Sunday. So it's pretty exciting. And it's supposed to be pretty nice on Sunday. So fingers crossed, no more snow. Hashtag no more snow. <laughs> Ben, it, yeah, no more snow. Ben is a little hooked on this History Channel show, Curse of Oak Island. I am. Oh my gosh, I'm addicted. I want to know what is buried. What is buried in the money pit? If you don't know, it's this oh. island in Canada where, for hundreds of years, there's like this mystery of a treasure buried hundreds of feet below the earth, and every possible treasure mysterious item you can think of like is theor theorized to be buried under this island but they haven't really found anything yet but the show is addicting and aggravating at the same time because 95 percent of the show is like recap and filler yeah. to get to like five minutes of like oh what are we gonna dig up out of this hole today and the rest <laughs> is just like stuff you've covered for the past they're on season four now it's like they have to get you up to speed on everything they've covered in the last four years. They need a new intro. <laughs> That's for sure. But, oh, like, uh, this drives me crazy. This season I has been going on, a, this season has been going on a lot longer than they usually do. Usually do the like six or eight episodes. They're on episode 14 and it just aired a few days ago. I don't know if this is the last season. I don't even know if they know. I don't know if they're going to just keep going until the <laughs> brothers are Run. completely broke. Yeah, these are two very rich brothers. And yeah. they're rich and they're stubborn, uh -huh. which is a dangerous combination. <laughs> you can see at, what, like the equipment that they have on this island. It's like a multi-million dollar operation for the summer of this season. They might as well just be taking like piles of money and... Like yeah. throwing it into the, a river or flushing it down a drain. Finn can give you more specifics, but they sent a diver down this hole. The diver came up and said, "It's all natural down there. It's all clay." And I moved, and I it's like, and what they thought was a treasure chest. He says, "Oh, that's just, that was just a rock." And they didn't believe him. They had to. They had to keep digging in this hole, and they still haven't found anything. They have dug three separate holes. Oh, okay. They're in three separate locations, not <laughs> the one that you're talking about. And the rock that he so-called moved is still in the same spot when they did sonar again. So I thought it. I thought it wasn't in the same spot anymore. That's why they was. couldn't put an X it, through 10X. They haven't put an X through 10X because it didn't move. Wait, I am dying to find out what is at the bottom of 10X, the money pit. C3, and now they have another hole that they're digging that may actually be the original place that the that over a hundred years ago they found the original treasure. Are they going to find like the lost works of William Shakespeare and the uh, <laughs> Holy Grail and the Ten Commandments? I don't know. I think the the most the the biggest theory right now is that it has to do with the jewels from. Uh, uh, Mary Antoinette is that Marianne Antoinette Antoinette how do you say it? what's her name I think it's Marie Marie and okay Marie and her <laughs> and uh, what, King Louis the monkey <laughs> Ooby doo 
I'm um, horrible. Like, yeah, I don't know history at all. Okay. All so, right. Let, let's start the show, and we'll we'll, we'll check back. What I know about history, I'm learning from this one show. So the History Channel is succeeding. <laughs> it's more than just Pawn Stars. That's right. The camera is not focusing at all, but John has gone down there to clean out the end of the driveway. He's on his way back now. Sorry, it's all fuzzy, but it just won't go past the screens on the window at all. No matter what I did, it just wouldn't move. So anyway, he's on his way back in, and because it's snowy out, Tegan, whoop, focusing on Tegan. Hey, it focuses on Tegan. <laughs> Tegan is watching Arthur. Arthur Christmas. Who are you watching on the TV? Ho Ho Movie! Ho Ho Movie! <laughs> you really like that set, don't you? Yeah, you do. You really like this cooking set, huh? Cookie. I'm cooking. Cookie You want to make some food? Oh, yeah. Okay. We can play with this some more. You want me to put the dig away? Yeah. Okay. John just came in from outside to tell me that this box showed up. This is not something that we typically review on our channel, but the company wrote to us and asked us if we would review it. And since we're setting up our spare slash game room thing over there, I said yes, because I think this thing will be awesome. This is from Sumo Lounge. Ugh, good. This box is ginormous, by the way. Ooh, it's not how I thought it was gonna, wow. That is, I thought it was gonna be bigger. So when I saw the box, I was like, oh man. But I guess there is some work involved in this. This box, according to the label, is 51 pounds. <sighs> So this is a sumo chair, a sumo lounge chair, and uh, I believe it is the Sultan. I'll have to double check, but I think it's the Sultan. This is the cover for it. I picked orange because of our room is going to be orange. So on here it says, clock time. Your beanbag chair will take up to two to four days to fully fluff up after shipment. Please allow this time before evaluating the supreme comfort. So I have some work I need to do. So let's set this up. Just beware I'm in my jammies. So you're probably gonna see my jammies because it was snowing and my pants got all wet. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, who came, Mom? I know! Wow! All right, let's put it down, watch your feet. Instructions. They're right there by the camera, that white piece of paper. Stop! Stop! Turn around. Right there. Stop! Where's the camera? No, 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 no. Where's the camera? Grab me this piece of paper. Piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What a big helper. Alrighty. Okay. Yep, we're gonna break open this inner layer, bud. Wow. That is huge. This thing must expand a lot. Anyway, this will give you an idea of the color. <laughs> yeah. You gonna fall? Are you dancing? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Mom, hey, 
<laughs> it's soft, huh? <laughs> when I come back, he likes it. This thing is huge. It I is huge. I wasn't even sure what to expect. I didn't either. The thing is ginormous. I've been slowly breaking up the uh, the beans in here. I think I I think I could technically just let it do it all on its own, but I'm impatient. So I've I've been kind of you've been like it. massaging the beans. Yeah. I've been massaging them, tearing like them apart. Like all three of us could sit on this thing. Yeah, it's huge. So I've been kind of tearing apart the brick that it came in. Whoa. And uh, It's really coming down again now. I just went out and I snow blowed like the end of the driveway where the plow was. Good job, bro. It is soft. And I swear by the time I got back up to the garage, like everything I filled had at least a inch and a half of snow in it already and it's like even worse now so oh boy come on come on i'm done with snow <laughs> tegan are you done with snow yeah i do you are too <laughs> i guess maybe i'm just like more i'm done with cleaning up snow i'm like i exhausted today I, still i haven't recovered from Shoveling all that snow off that roof yesterday. Like, I'm achy, and then I had to go out there again, and then tomorrow morning I'm going to have to do it again. But at least, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be sunny the next couple of days. It's nice and soft. You are too cute. <laughs> So here is the sumo lounge with the micro suede cover on it. I think I've broken it all up and everything. Now we just kind of wait for a little while for it to expand fully. It says two to four days possible. So I think it'll go faster than that because I broke it up because you don't really need to break it up. You can just let it sit and it'll expand on its own. But I'm impatient so I broke it up a little bit. Tegan's been enjoying it. And uh, now we just wait for it to expand to its maximum size, which is, it's huge already. So I can only imagine how big it's gonna get when it's done. <laughs>